Jami Abiola, son of MKO Abiola, has come under heavy attack from Nigerians for saying that President Muhammadu Buhari has the same agenda as his father. Speaking in a recent interview to mark the Democracy Day, Jamu had angered Nigerians when he said, My father and this president primarily have the same objective. Some of Nigerians who expressed their anger on Twitter said, If Jamu's words were true, it was all thanks to God his father never ruled the country. For some others, Jamu is a disappointment to his father for making such assertion. And here are some of the reactions from uh, the people. Uh, someone says, uh, at Angelus go to says, thank God your father never became president. Another says, if the agenda your father had was to make Nigeria insecure for his citizens, then no wonder Babangida did not allow him to have a taste of his triumph. We must be wasting our time trying to remember him for uh, trying to remember him today. Then. Another says, I'm sure you are not real son of Abiola. And at a Larry Afo said, it is said that you didn't know your father or 2015 and 2019 should have taken the same path as the post-June 12 cancellation. This is because Abacha had better agenda than, than Buari. Idri said, all these things happening in Nigeria, both the good and bad, was your father's agenda okay are you telling us that your father has no vision okay uh uche live says your father's ghost will haunt you because of money you betrayed your late father oh day if so then thank god and nigerians that his father was not allowed to execute such a porous and no direction agenda Unger has made this one flip. Even your dad, a great man, will be disappointed at you. At you. A condom would have <laughs> saved Abiola this a huge embarrassment. Thank God your father never became president. Who knows if he detests his late father. Some kids grew up that way. Okay. Another says, maybe we should even thank God that your father didn't become president. Some one that works with the person that jailed your father, yet he could not convince his boss to release your dad and restore his mandate. Jamu, do you think your dad will be proud of you? So, guys, uh, when, you are, when we are talking at times, uh, we need to really expatiate what we mean. Maybe this guy, he will come back and say, oh, with this uh, backlash, we are still going to go to the proper people who are really responding. Because these are the people who really responded to his statement on Twitter. If you are saying something, you need to analyze things very well. Because you can come back and say, oh, that was not what I said. I was misquoted. So anytime anybody is speaking at the public space, you just have to know what you are saying and explain what you meant by that. Because I tend to agree with these people who are responding to him that if really what we are experiencing and the same thing that everybody is accusing this particular president, present administration of is what your daddy has in mind. Uh -huh. That means they are right to have replied that. So if maybe if that was not what he meant, he would have explained better. Because in this area, in what in this is what mean, I mean. This is what I was trying to say. You cannot just make a blank uh, a statement and you expect people not to start interpreting it their own way because everybody knows what they perceive of this uh, government. So for you come to come out, for you to come out and say, "Oh, your dad has the same agenda with uh, what uh, we have now." Okay, uh, that means it's a good thing that they never allowed him. So come in in the first place. Okay. Someone says, our leaders are telling us not to travel abroad for a greener pastures. And also telling us that those in abroad don't pick money on the road. Yes, I totally agree that they don't pick money on the road, but work for it. Our shameless leaders should read this and tell me what, why I should not travel out of this zoo. Those living in Europe, Asia, America, and including some African countries are enjoying electricity, good roads, good health care, good transportation system, free internet, good education system, adequate provision for the old people, good housing system, provision of security for people, employment opportunity, and many more. Just tell me one thing that we are enjoying in this country, apart from corruption. Exactly. 
what can you just say that okay this is what i'm really gaining this is what i have gained as a person you know when you talk about democracy it is those 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 some of those called called rogues thieves some of them majority of them because maybe you could have a one or two persons among them but majority of them are thieves they are rogues with their children they are the ones enjoying this so-called democracy or one nigeria they have been clamoring for when a man speaks nigerians problem is to criticize instead of trying to know the truth behind the comments we are easy to forget it that abiola was a was a part and what is this today so there are a lot of uh a lot of we as nigerians need to do concerning our orientation as a country a man says that his father had no future for the country when we should be keen to ask why not condemn i don't know what this person is trying to say simple at least let us know the reason why his father chose not to have future for nigeria please what is itt reply please i want to know we learn every day thank as you thanks as you do so okay someone say you lack understanding you spoke english with your mouth to understand what you said it's another problem or is it a high service for buari to keep remembering your father or what your father is already angry with you at his grave okay people are still responding replying to the statement made by uh, abiola son like me for the benefits of the dads <laughs> whether it meant something different but if this is what just to not no need to start translating it or trying to uh, try to interpret it because it's a clear uh, uh, statement that he said so if he said that definitely people would definitely say no 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 that means so it's a good thing that your father never even came to power because this is what would have been experiencing <laughs> so i say this man is obviously talking about a, a Buhari's islamization agenda not what you are talking about let us pray to god by his own way and method we destroy this agenda like he did abiola's hmm. how old is this boy when chief mk abiola died and if he's a true son of baba that we worked for his emergence as president he will not talk like that he said the truth do you not know do you not remember how his father sunk a ship load of Bible and sent loads of petrol to burn Christians' homes in the north during riots, which he denied when he was interviewed. Nigeria forgets so easily. The only thing that made late Abiola politically popular was sentiment. ICT was interpreted as international thief by late fella. Secondly, he ran for election with a northern Muslim. His popularity was not based upon his uprightness. Hmm. So I say, no wonder when your father said he can rule with that ego tribe. So, so like father, like son. Okay. Why did this boy come up with such talk? I really pity you for you don't know what to say. You have disappointed your family members, not Nigerians. We pray Nigeria to straight and strong governments for their citizens' benefits. As a Nigeria, he has able able right to express his views, whether in my favor or not. As for him to say, my father has same agenda with someone, someone else not. Okay, if you care to know why he said to, where is why he says so, then you ask him. Make una no mind Jamil, my guy, uh, and contrast. We I mean, need to contact from government. Okay, he needs contract. The guy needs contract from government. All Nigeria knows that your father is not a gluten like you, and by so doing, this we think you should over. You should take over after him, but you didn't. Now you become disappointed to we Nigerians and to your families particularly. I just imagine those who were not born during June twelfth commenting <laughs> commenting on what this guy has said okay it is very it is very to say the truth or it's very easy to say the truth but this boy said the truth straight to the face with no fear or favor don't confuse education with intelligence you can have a bachelor's degree and still be an idiot jamie believed in good works of pmb just like a plenty of us if you chose to hate your fatherland for your selfish and sorry we can't 
help you. So IBB would have allowed him. Maybe by now Biafra might, might have gone, might have come. Okay, please, is that man a really a, a son of a Chief MK Wabiola? That man does not know Chief MK Wabiola agendas for Nigeria. He should take or go back to his father's grave to apologize for failing his father if really he's, he's one of the sons of a Abiola. So guys, are there mixed reactions here? We can see what people are saying based on the statement of this uh, Abiola son. What do you think by that statement? Let's have your opinion in the comment section.